This is you. You're nice, you're solid, you're kind of cool even. You got some nice little features to you. Everyone likes you and thinks you're a good time. Why? Because you are. And this is the guy she tells you not to worry about. He's got a little bit more edge to him, a bit more scale, a little bit more on the uh, bulky side, let's say. And he might be a little bit different, but at the same time, people, they just can't get enough of him. I'm kidding, of course. Or am I? Now, this is the Shielden Scythe. And this is the Shielden Scythe XL. This knife comes in at $161 with a titanium handle, an S35 VN steel black wash blade, ambidextrous pocket clips, and one vicious attitude. Now, when comparing these two knives side by side, you might notice a few differences aside from the scale. That might come down to the materials or the clip types or even the locking mechanisms, let's say. But this knife, make no mistake, is the XL size. This thing has some mean intentions and it is fun to use. Everything down from the uh, pickle style blade to the ambidextrous pot clips, which I really appreciate this little clip right in here, to the grooves they put on the back for texturing and for extra grip. I feel like I can use this knife for just about anything. The locking mechanism I think is really nice. The knife itself, obviously it's not super heavy, but it closes nicely. It opens with a nice crack to it, which I really do appreciate. Like real quick, I'm gonna take a second and appreciate the sharpness of this tip because that thing will take some soul, set them straight to the river sticks. But I would expect nothing less. But that's enough of me talking about tips. So let's look at the rest of this knife. So also the pod clips being ambidextrous, really appreciate the opening and closing and the, the, removing this from my pocket is really smooth and easy. And then just to use it, I mean, use it and it has that wow factor going on. Like this knife just makes an impression. It's not for an XL knife. It's not gigantic, which I do appreciate. It fits in the pocket still really nicely. And these two knives, I think they complement each other well. There was also the Blue Micarta one. I currently have the Jade on me today or the natural coloring. And then you can see the different tone that they've taken with this bigger knife. But I've been going back and forth a bunch. Let's slow it down real quick and Honestly, I did not expect a blade this light to close that easily. Obviously, when it comes to holding this knife, there's a bunch of real estate to hold on to. There's not really the chance you're going to slip onto the blade since it's set so far back. The way it grabs, by the texturing, I would say in the back, I do really appreciate it. I feel like I have a really solid grip in my hand. But clip, it's not the kind of contoured grip that they have with like little here. So the flatness of it is almost like a nice little ridge line for me to grab onto. And I feel like I can rotate it overhand, underhand, forehand, backhand, all those sorts of things really easily. And yeah, I think I've, this knife has really surprised me. I keep hesitating to call it a knife because it's it's a little bit different. I guess you could say and my hand keeps wanting to do that. When it comes to detent, opening, closing, I would say there is one, two, three, about three pounds of force required. One, two, three. Yeah, and I mean, this knife, unlike let's say a Civivi or something like a WB, this knife absolutely flies out there into that open position. The momentum behind it is absolutely incredible and just gives it another vicious feel to it. But enough with about the feel and the opening. The closing, how does this knife sound? Compared to the lighter, chirpier notes, of the little brother. This knife has a much more aggressive snap to them. And also the extra body, it really can come across and pop. So let me know what you think of this knife, this unique little XL piece, this little adjustment change that Shielden has made. Let me just think of this knife or these knives both in the comments down below. Feel free to hop into the Discord, 
And once again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.